Oh my goodness, how is it September? Where is the shit going? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Cassie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my August review and a September plan with me. I am completely embracing September, autumn already. I have my mini pumpkins out with my spice pumpkin candle and I went and got a pumpkin spice latte this morning because you can get it earlier through the Starbucks app so we went and got pumpkin spice lattes this morning and it just put me in the best mood. I don't care what people say about people who drink pumpkin spice lattes. If it makes me happy, it makes me happy. Right, enough rambling on about how much I love autumn. Let's get straight into the August review. I thought I would first touch upon goals in August. So one of my first goals was losing weight, lose six pounds. And I know it sounds very cliche, but I do need to lose a little bit of weight, not been looking after my body, as well as I could have been this previous year. So a goal was to lose six pounds and I achieved that. I achieved that through running, through moving my body more, through being a bit more mindful about what I have been putting into my body as well and it's definitely paying off. The next thing I wanted to do was start Pilates. I have put a comment on there that says not for me because I kept planning to do it and then I never did it. I wasn't looking forward to it. I didn't, I was like, I just can't be bothered to do it. Not like other things that I've done around physical activity, like yoga and running, that I actually want to do. Pilates was one of those things where I was like, no, this is not for me. So I didn't achieve that goal, but that's absolutely fine because I realized that I don't want to do that right now. It might change in the future. I might think, you know what, Pilates is for me in the future, but for right now, it's not for me. So I didn't achieve that goal, but I'm not sad about it. So the third goal was to go on a hike and we did go on a hike. We went for a lovely hike last Monday and we even found like this brewery calf pub on the way around. So we went back and enjoyed a cheeky cider before we finished the hike. And it was lovely. We went and treated ourselves to new hiking boots. I got some new hiking leggings and I just felt like, yes, ready to get back into hiking again. I loved being outdoors with my husband, with Luna, our dog, and it was just a lovely. So we did achieve that goal. Another goal was to run three days a week through using Couch to 5K. Now, I didn't achieve a run of three days a week because I was suffering with a shin splints. I ran where I could, but the shin splints really, really stopped me from being able to run three days a week and I didn't want to injure myself further, so I just listened to my body and ran when I thought I could, but I have been running. So I haven't ticked that one off, but I'm just happy that I got back into running. I bought myself new running trainers. I bought myself some new running leggings, a new running bra, and I'm ready to get out there and just run everywhere. Not, not quite, but <laughs> I just need the, the shin splint on my left leg to just stop being an annoyance. If it doesn't go away, I probably will go to a running shop and just get measured up and properly analysed for some different running trainers to see if that helps. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to continue to rest up between runs if a shin, plint, shin splint does rear its ugly head. No spend month. I did tick this one off. Now, I have spent a little bit of money towards the end of August. However, I started about a week before August. In total, I did actually do four weeks of no spend. I got, I think, one or two items through Vinted, but that was through my Vinted balance, so I didn't actually spend money it was money that was from me selling items. I took that one as done, achieved. So it's quite nice to have a no spend month. And now I feel like I just want to spend all of the money. It's like starving yourself and then binge eating. It has the reverse effect. It doesn't actually help you achieve. So would I do a no spend month again? Probably not. Should I have more willpower when it comes to the end of the month and not spend? Probably also. Another thing was to cook a meal from scratch. And we did do that. I can't remember off the top of my head what meal it was. It was a new recipe and we did everything from scratch through making the sauce and everything. And regardless, every, every meal I think we had in August was really, really good. We're really starting to build on our meal planner now and know what meals we like and what we don't like. Another one was to finish an astronomy documentary, which I did do. I watched it on BBC iPlayer, I think, and it was called Planets. Brian Cox hosted it, voiced it. And he just makes, I think because he's so passionate about it and what he's talking about, it really makes you want to listen and learn. And there's a couple more documentaries on there 
Witch Brian Ott's host, so I'm going to definitely watch some more of those documentaries. I just found it really, really interesting, and it's something that I wanted to learn more about. I don't really have a topic of anything, really, where I know a lot about it. Like, I could probably talk someone's ear off about filming and editing, from my knowledge. It's nice to have something else to talk about as well, and I know my dad's really into astronomy, so maybe I could hold a conversation with him about that now as well. So, I did finish that documentary, and I want to watch more, so another tip there. Paint a picture. Now I don't know whether I enjoy painting or if I don't enjoy painting. I think I enjoy it but when the picture doesn't quite go to plan I don't enjoy it which I guess is probably anything in life. I think it's one of those hobbies or skills that I will just have to kind of continue developing as I go but I haven't been picking up a paintbrush as often as I would like so it's probably something that I will look to do more of in September if I have the time but I did paint a picture like I said not the best picture but I still painted. And my final goal for August <laughs> How many did I have? A few, but not too many. They all they all work towards the bigger picture, so it's great. But it was to have 150 YouTube subscribers. Oh my days. August was the month where I just gained so many new subscribers. And I mean, I say so many. To some people it's not a lot, but to me, seeing that number jump up, or jump up even like times five people in one day, was just like, oh my days. It's just, it just made me so happy and putting in more time and energy and effort into my videos and doing shorts now, it just meant the world to me. So thank you so much if you are a new subscriber. Thank you so much if you've been a long time subscriber. It means the world to me, so thank you. So they are my goals. I do have some more notes down for an August review, so I'm going to quickly run through them now as well. So I did actually start therapy in August. I was umming and ahhing about sharing this within this review but then I was like you know what if it encourages somebody else to just seek help when they think they might need help just do it honestly I was so nervous at the age of 31 I'd never really opened up to someone in that way and with certain things going on everyone encouraged me to do it so I was like you know what, I'm just going to do it because I think I hit rock bottom at, in July so August was definitely a huge month for me for bringing myself back up in terms of my happiness, my mood, my drive to do anything. August was a huge month for me. August was a huge stepping stone into September for me in terms of just focusing on me. Huge self-care month. Yeah, I would encourage it. I've only had a couple of sessions now, but I really do enjoy talking to someone. And sometimes you just need someone to help you make sense of something. So if you are umming and ahhing about it, but you feel like you need to, just do it. If you can, just do it. In terms of all of that, I had like a bit of an awakening. Like I said, July wasn't the best month for me. In August, I just had a moment of clarity about where I was like, I need to stop waiting for people to create my own happiness. I need to go out there and create my own happiness. No one's gonna come along and do it for me. They can try, but that's their understanding meaning of happiness for them. So it might miss the mark. So only I can create my own happiness. So I've been really, really trying to work on that in August. And that is why I created a glow up journey for myself. So talking about the glow up journey, I thought I would quickly show you what I have ticked off so far for the glow up journey. So the glow up journey was all about me focusing on myself each day to do something to improve glow up both physically and mentally and when I say glow up it's not just about looking great like looking that like you've had a glow up but it was more of a, um, a deeper glow up like a internal glow up for both mentally and physically there are some quick fixes on there like face masks and um, doing nails and haircuts and stuff for a more of a external glow up but the rest of it is just more internal. So I ticked off all of the ones for August. I started off by creating a vision board, just like refreshing a vision board. I found a new podcast and I went for a walk and I was nearly crying listening to this first episode of this podcast which was so inspiring. I did my meal planning, I started drinking more water, so I started a new book, um, I created a feel good playlist, you know just like little things it really just pick me up. I've documented it all through TikTok, I've been putting it on my Instagram and I also have been uploading it on shorts here on YouTube which I think that's how a lot of you have subscribed through my shorts so once again thank you. But I'm excited to finish the glow up journey in September and sort of reflect back up from where I started to where I am at the end of the month to see if 
all that work paid off I guess. I already think it is paying off which is really nice. It's definitely identified some new habits for me and um, it's made me really focused on like my morning and evening routine, start looking at new skincare, just buying myself flowers, just loads of little things that you probably overthink or just stuff that you need to do for yourself for self-care. So all in all, August, not too bad, not too shabby. I feel like I achieved a lot. I feel like I really pushed myself out of my comfort zone and August with approval for a planning application for home renovation. So it was a really nice way to end off August. So overall, August was a pretty good month. Right, before we move over to September planning, talking about goals and what I want to do in September, I feel like we need to change this layout from this blue summery pasta look to more of a autumnal look. So let's do that now. How much better does that look? Oh, it looks so much cosier and autumnal. It's amazing what a change in colours and some images can do. Now, I've not put any pumpkins on any of these images because that will be for October when we're going to go we're out with all the pumpkins and all the Halloween images. So I'm super excited for October's view. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe if you want to be alerted when that video goes live. But without further ado, let's get into September planning. Let's first look at some of the goals I want to do in September. So in September, I would like to start a new hobby. One of the things that I need to do, which I realised in the past month, is get out of the habit of going to work, coming home, eating, sleeping, waking up the next morning and going back to work. Now, I have started running some of those mornings, but other than that, there's nothing else. So I want to do some hobbies, some new hobbies within the week after work that really breaks the week up and stops me looking forward to the weekend. I want to do hot pod yoga on Thursday nights and I'm going to book a block of 10 class, well not 10, uh, a block. You, you buy 10 lessons and you can just book them as and when you want them. But if I book that I save some money, it will also mean that I need to go and do it so I'm not wasting money. So I'm going to start that next Thursday, which I'm super excited for. I really do enjoy hot pod yoga. And it's a nurturing flow, a half eight on a Thursday, which means that if I've had a, a little bit of a stressful week, this is gonna get me ready for the Friday and for the weekend ahead. I also want to start doing some more gardening in the week. It's one of those things I'm always like, I have to do it at the weekend. I'm like, who says I have to do it at the weekend? If I have time when I get home from work, I will do it then. So I want to start gardening on either a Tuesday or Wednesday. And then me and my friend would like to try doing some, I think it's aerial silks, but she's on holiday, then I'm away. So we're going to do that when I get back. So that'll be more for October. But we do want to try that. So it's gonna push us out of our comfort zones a little bit, but I'm super excited for that. Another goal is to complete the Glow Up journey. Like I said, I have completed the days in August. I really enjoyed it. So I really want to follow through with the rest of this. So I'm definitely going to be taking that one off at the end of September. I want to lose another six pounds. I still have a little bit of weight left to lose to be considered a healthy weight. I want to lose another six pounds. So that is another goal of mine. And gratitude daily. I have been doing some gratitude here and there on and off. And I do think it's a very positive thing to do, especially if I'm feeling a bit down. It just reminds me that it's all not doom and gloom. So gratitude daily is something that I really want to start doing. So I'm going to start that from today. And I would really like to hit my 150 YouTube subscribers goal that works towards the bigger goal. So it's always good to break down goals into bite-sized chunks. At the moment, 150 seems more attainable than a thousand. So I'm working towards 150 and I'm not far off. I think I'm going to achieve it in September. I really hope I do. I'm going to work hard on achieving it. So hopefully the hard work will pay off. So if you aren't yet subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And last but not least, I would like to explore more of England. I've lived here for 31 years and I've not seen an awful lot of it. So much to explore and it's such a beautiful country that I just really want to explore more of it. I'm going to plan a hike for, if not next weekend, the weekend after, 
is somewhere in the Peak District and I've already I already know what route I want to take. I've got all my new hiking gear so there's no excuses. I might just need a proper uh, like waterproof raincoat in case it rains. Summer has been quite rainy. Not that I'm complaining so to be fair but I might just need to get a waterproof coat of some sort for that hike. But yes, as much as I can I want to get out and about more in September and explore more. Some of the things that I actually need to do in September, so some of the tasks that I need to do. I need to buy some suitcases for when we go on holiday. We bought some last year, they broke, they weren't good. So I need to go online and try and find some other suitcases and probably not as big as the ones that we had last year because they were humongous. I'm not going to lie, we did fill them but they were still too big. <laughs> so I need to buy some suitcases. Home renovation next steps. Like I said, we have planning permission now. I need to chase up a quote from one more builder. Then we can decide what builder we're going to go with. And because we had to change our plans, I just need to update the contractor we go with with the updated plan so they can refinalize the quote and then I can tell them what we want them to do and what we're going to do because it's more expensive than we thought it was going to be. So we've sat down and said, amongst ourselves that we're going to try and do as much of it ourselves as possible to save money because it ain't cheap. <laughs> I don't mind though, I really like renovating and being able to do some of it myself so I honestly don't mind and if it means it's going to take longer to actually get our dream home to wear our home into a dream home state that's fine because it's going to be realistic if we need to do some work ourselves just because of the cost involved because it is a big project to us it's a big project anyways yeah so i need to finalize those details i'd like to have that ticked off before we go away so that when we come back we can sit down with the contractor and then just tweak through the finer details and hopefully get a date booked in early next year to start the renovation so we are kicking off september with something really lovely it's our second wedding anniversary today we need to go out and celebrate our wedding anniversary we went and got coffees this morning and we have booked in for a lovely meal this evening where we can get all dressed up go out have a bit of wine and enjoy a lovely meal so we're starting our september in such a lovely way it's nice we ended up august in such a nice way that we're starting september off on the same foot it's really nice it's nice that i'm really glad we have our wedding on the 1st of september like it's the first day of i know i know the autumn no the autumn equinox is not yet but for me september is like yay autumn so i like it <laughs> what a great way to start september something that we need to do this month is deep clean our home and that involves we want to order a skip to get rid of some of the tree bits that we've chopped out in the back garden and um, we've got some like bits and bobs that we need to get rid of that have just been like shoved down the side of the house when we started redoing some of the front garden. Tidy all that and I want to deep clean the home so that when we come back it's been cleaned and I'm going to set it up really cosy as well so put my little felt pumpkins around, Dan bought me two new cosy cushions and fro as, as a gift from an anniversary present which is so me. So he did really well. So we've already got that to snuggle into. So that's already on the sofa, making the living room feel more cosy. So we really need to make the house feel super cosy. After, after we come back off our holiday, it's gonna feel really cosy. So I've got a couple of things I want to do in September that aren't really tasks, but just things that I want to do. One of them was buy my first pumpkin spice latte, which we know we've done. We've ticked this one off already, yay. <laughs> I also have pumpkin spice syrup downstairs. So I've got that to enjoy if I want to make them at home so I'm not buying them all the time. But um, oh, the first sip was just golden. It was just amazing. Love it. I want to buy a new cosy jumper and I mean like a proper cosy cosy jumper. So I'm going to go on the hunt for a new cosy jumper. So if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. I want to start a new book. I don't know what kind of book. Maybe try and find like a really cosy autumnal book to really kick off the get ready for like the autumn period in style so if you have any recommendations for cozy autumn books please let me know as well i'm sure if not i'll find someone who's recommending one on instagram or tiktok or something and linking with the deep house clean and what i've already mentioned is just making the house feel more cozy so lighting the candles again putting the cozy blankets out putting the furry back on the bed and just embracing the coziness so that is my goals they are my tasks and that is what i want to do for the month of september but overall it's going to be a great month to kind of just get things done but also i want september to be a big self-care month as well 
Thank you for joining me on this monthly review and plan with me video. I tried something a little bit different than sharing my computer screen in the normal way. So if you did like it, please let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up. Once again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It would make me so happy. And I really enjoyed sitting down and making this video. I did attempt to make it yesterday and I was editing it and I was like, no Cass, this is just... It's not, I'm not enjoying the editing of this, so is someone actually going to enjoy the watching of this? But I feel like with this one, I have, I, I went to bed last night and wrote down some notes on how I could be more creative with this video and I came up with this idea. Obviously until I edit it and bring it all together, I'm not sure how it's going to be, but we'll see. But yeah, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care, don't forget to live your dream and bye for now.